going to share with you one of my family's favorite soup recipe. My husband loves soup and this is one of his favorite ones. Even my daughter will try this one. It is the roasted butternut squash soup. Not only this is a delicious soup and also healthy as I said, but you just need a few ingredients. Basically what you will need is of course the butternut squash, uh, one or two onions depending on the size, garlic, olive oil, and either chicken or vegetable stock or broth, whatever you like. Okay, let's do this. As I said, you don't need a lot of uh, ingredients to make this soup, but preparing the butternut squash and roasting it will take some time. You can buy pre-cut butternut squash at your local supermarket and that will save you some time. But let me show you how I like to peel and cut my butternut squash. I like to make two cuts. I like to separate the longer part from the bulk part. That way it's easy for you to work with. The other thing I like to use is a potato peeler. Now this is gonna take some time. Okay, Woo, that's a good workout. <laughs> now once you have it totally peeled, then you need to remove the seeds. So cut it in half. Now you can use a spoon, a melon peeler, whatever you have. You can save these seeds to roast them. Now I cut the butternut squash in slices of about one inch. I got four from this one. Now I'm going to cut the tall part again into one inch thick slices. Now we're gonna cube them. Now we wanna cube them because the more cubes you have, the more cuts you make into whatever vegetable you're gonna roast, the greater the surface that vegetable has to roast. Once they are ready for the oven, you need to add some goodness to it. Olive oil, and salt, and some pepper. I used to uh, uh, mix my veggies in the same roasting pan I was using, but sometimes you don't coat every side. Okay, so these guys are ready for the oven. I use some parchment paper on my uh, roasting pan. I do it for two reasons. Number one, it's gonna help your butternut squash not to burn. And then when you're ready to put all the butternut squash into the pot, one has been roasted, you just pick up the parchment paper and right into the pot. The other thing is less cleaning. Okay, so we'll try to make this into a single layer. Okay, you don't want this piled up because if not, instead of roasting, it's going to steam and all that work was for nothing. Now remember, roasting it brings a different flavor. You cannot do the same if you just put it on a pot that is boiling with the vegetable broth. Okay, I think this is good. I need ro another roasting pan. They are going to go into the oven. I am going to roast as well the garlic. you're going to 
gonna need a large pot. You don't wanna be pouring your vegetable broth in and realizing that you don't have enough room. Uh, so get a big one. And we are going to add a little bit of olive oil, making sure we just cover the bottom. We are going to saute the onion for I'd say 10 minutes, maybe eight, until you see that translucent color. is ready it looks so good and I had made extra the one that I made extra for the salad um, my husband and my daughter they finish it before I was able to even put it in a container to store it to have it for a salad but hey they are eating vegetables I don't care that's that's very good the onion is ready it's translucent it smells so good and I am going to put now the roasted butternut squash. And as I told you before, the paper itself that I was baking it on is gonna help me. Let's see if I can do this without having all over a house floor. So it's lifting it up. And here we go. Yes! And most of the cleaning is done. Now I'm going to put the garlic that it was roasting. I think I had it roasting for 40 minutes. And let's see, you just can squeeze this goodness out. Oh, if you can smell this. Waiting for that day where we can have smell a vision. So do that with each one. I think it will be neater with a spoon. So we are gonna mix that. While the soup is cool enough, I am going to get my blender ready. And you can use your immersion blender, but with an immersion blender, I read and I also tried it as well, it is less cleaning because you just use this little thing that you can wash in a few seconds and the pot that you've been uh, simmering the soup in and you are done. However, I read and I also tried that, if you use a blender, it is gonna be smoother, creamier. Okay, so we're gonna make this in batches because we don't want the soup on the ceiling, on the floor, on the house. And we are gonna start slow. Now I'm scooping from the bottom to get a lot of the butternut squash and also the broth. And now we're gonna pour it in another container and we'll repeat this two or three times. to mix all of it and I'm going to try to see if it needs more salt or anything like that. Oh my goodness. I wish you can try this. Just gonna put a little bit more salt because my husband likes more in the salty side. 
oh, it's so smooth, so creamy, so sweet, but in a savored way. Oh, if you can try this. And there you have it. Perfection. <laughs> I added a little bit of cream. You can add some butternut squash roasted seeds. Uh, whatever you wanna top that with off is perfection. I am not gonna wait till dinner. I don't even gonna take my apron off. I am going to have this right now. I deserve this after all that work. Mmm. You deserve this. I hope you make it at least once. It's amazing. Sweet. Delicious. Creamy. And I'm not a soup lover, but I love this soup. You can make this soup ahead of time if you know you're gonna have a few days that are gonna be busy. Um, you can have it as a side dish for Thanksgiving, in the winter months, when it's cold outside, or in summer, you can actually drink it cold. Um, just with a little bit of cream on the top, it will be delicious. I hope you enjoy. Of the butter squash roast. Um, you need basically the butter squash nut, you need a couple of, um, you basically need the butter nut squash, uh, the onions, Basically, basically you need a butternut squash. Now, the, butters, uh, the butternut squash, that's a mouthful to say, the butternut squash. Now, the butter squash nut 